Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Uh, we're taking a brief interlude from our launches, or our missions as current, to uh, step into the VAB. I uh, double-checked some things with uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock and found that there is a Jupiter to Pluto transfer window in, like, um, almost three years. And so there is also a uh, Earth to Jupiter transfer window in... Uh, God, I want to say less than a year. Maybe it's a little bit more than a year. I don't remember right now. But anyway, I thought that maybe I would uh, try for the slingshot and uh, see if I can't get a nice uh, flyby of Pluto, um, something I've never attempted before. So we're trying to build a spacecraft that will, uh, I don't know, fly past Pluto, maybe gather us some science, uh, do an interesting flyby. Uh, so my first concern was comms and power. Obviously, it's going to need an RTG. We're not going to get very much uh, solar uh, power supply out there and uh, the science loadout. So I, I know I'm not doing it currently, but I did mull over a lot of uh, what uh, antenna to power this with. Uh, we've got this one on here, which is the Voyager antenna, which does give us the range. Um, but bandwidth is pretty low, power consumption is pretty high, and it's kind of heavy. So then we've got this one, which is, says it's not RP0, but it does give me a range in uh, terameters. And it, uh, it's actually better than the Voyager dish. It has higher bandwidth. Uh, power consumption, I don't believe, was listed, but it weighs less also. Um, my biggest issue with it is that it just looks weird with that uh, massive bracket on it and the tiny probe core because uh, weight is going to be an issue. Um, so I added a, another probe core with just the, I don't know, the plan of making it look slightly less awkward. Um, mission kind of accomplished there. I think it's not, uh, entirely perfect, but it, it works pretty well. And so then with, uh, two RTGs instead of one, which was kind of doubling my budget, but I figured if I can get this thing to about half a ton, uh, 500 kilograms, um, the slingshot really shouldn't be a problem, and I can build a uh, transfer stage or a support stage to go with it that will be uh, more than capable of handling any course corrections necessary for getting the inclination change needed to uh, slingshot it uh, from Jupiter to Pluto. Uh, I mean, at least hopefully. Uh, we've got the other gas giants that we'll be trying to take care of with the uh, fantastic 1977 window. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of missions in the works, or at least in the planning stages for that, but this actually comes up first. So I figured, well, while we're here, let's build it out. So um, I'm still doing scientific equipment layout and trying to get everything that to uh, look uh, appropriate, I guess. Uh, we've got our two goo containers on there, and our uh, orbital telescope, the magnetometer, and the radio plasma wave detector. Of course, we'll get to all of our other scientific equipment here in short order. It was just kind of figuring out a placement that not only looked good, but uh, accommodated everything and gave us a, a good weight balance for everything. As you see those two goo containers offsetting the weight of the orbital telescope and the magnetometer offsetting the uh, radio plasma wave. But we do have this um, irradiance scan detector. It weighs the same as a goo container, so why not uh, use one of those? I figure if we get a nice close flyby of Pluto, the more valuable science is going to be down low. And uh, we do have weight to worry about. So uh, then we're on to our RCS thruster placement. We just uh, we want them to fire a little beyond the dish. Of course, we're going to go with uh, Arizina N2O so we can utilize its uh, better ISP. Uh, we don't really need a whole lot of thrust. We just need to be able to re-angle the dish. But since it is going to be our primary mode of uh, altering our course, we might as well have four dedicated forward thrusters because, well, we uh, we might need them. But so far, I'm pretty happy with this. This actually looks pretty good. It came out a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, it, it's basically a gigantic communications dish. <laughs> and some avionics with some science and RTG slap to it. It's nothing super fancy, but it, uh, it fills the role. So we're going to go ahead and set up our action grouping here. There's our radio in command, and we'll get our boot command uh, written in there also. That'll turn on all of our comms equipment and uh, fire up the RTGs. 
and uh, I am still trying to figure out how uh, RC has build aid works and uh, also figuring out that oh hey I've probably got some kind of imbalance here and uh, I can try to mitigate some of it but it looks like we're always going to have some kind of small imbalance here and that's the weird one the especially since the one piece of equipment that's a little offset I thought would balance it out but I think uh, something here is not reporting its weight very accurately and that's what's causing uh, this major imbalance so I might have to make a second pass as far as our uh, equipment positioning and maybe space uh, some of these things out and try to get the balance a little better but um, honestly I don't know if I'm actually going to be all that concerned with it yeah that did not solve anything and the addition of more RCS thrusters also did not really solve anything. I guess we're always going to be looking at this torque but I will take it as an opportunity to make things look a little better by rotating the irradiant scan and the goo container into what I think looks better <laughs> even though it says that we're going to be super off balance. Anyway the plan right now is to put this on top of a DN1A and uh, get it launched in about a year's time. But of course, we'll have our uh, two Venus missions to get to and uh, hopefully our Mars missions to get to well before that happens. But sorry, this wasn't so short, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.